I'm Ezra Rayao. This is the Manila Times. All 22 senators on Monday voted for the passage of the No Permit, No Exam Prohibition Act, or Senate Bill 1359, which prohibits the No Permit, No Exam policy. The Catholic Educational Association of the Philippines said the initiative could put the financial welfare of private schools at risk. In December 22, the lower house approved House Bill 6483, that allows college students with unpaid school fees to take periodic and final exams on justifiable grounds. Now here to share his insights is President and CEO of STI College Santa Rosa and President of Philippine Association of Private Schools, Colleges and Universities. And he's also a board member in UNIVET and COCOPEA, Dr. Antonio Tony del Carmen. Thank you for granting us this interview. Welcome to Manila Time, sir. Thank you for the opportunity to be here uh, so that we can uh, share also our insights. Thank you, sir. Sir, no permit, no exam policy. Which side are you on this? And what are the harmful implications of the policy on private schools? Well, uh, our association and uh, all uh, of the private schools uh, that we are representing are totally against uh, this House, uh, the Senate bill. You know? uh, not only because it will make not because it will make it difficult for the students to uh, complete their education but uh, primarily because this is our way uh, to allow more access to schools of uh, for students no of different levels no and we found that uh, the senate version uh, of the proposal of the no permit no exam really uh, make will make it financially difficult for schools you know, to continue on providing the quality education that we want to provide our students. You know. uh, unlike uh, public schools, uh, the lifeblood of private education is really coming from tuition fees. You know. And uh, the reason why we allowed uh, students to go on installments and easy payment plans you know, is to provide better and more access for students. Because admittedly, not all students would want or can qualify to get into uh, any public uh, institution. You know? There are those, uh, there's a segment of students who would prefer to go to the private the uh, sector, no, and uh, uh, there are also students who may not have the same financial uh, capabilities as uh, uh, A or B uh, sectors in our economy. That's why the broad C, the D class, uh, we allowed that uh, process. No, we adopted that process in the private sector to give them also the opportunity to go to private uh, institutions. Sir, so you're against the Senate Bill 1359 or the Prohibition Act of the No Permit, No Exam policy, you know. So, sir, what about those students who are, what will happen to those students? For example, uh, who went to private schools, uh, to one of your schools, and then they do not have the financial capacity to pay for the tuition fee at that time. And uh, so the result is they won't be able to take the exam and they won't complete their course or their uh, or their year. So what will happen to them, sir? The private education institutions are not that harsh naman, no, to say that if you cannot pay, then you stop. No, uh, We have over the years been uh, allowing students to eat uh, promissory notes uh, so that they can take those exams even if they have unpaid uh, balances no and uh, some schools allow uh, the promissory notes to uh, slide from one term to two terms no uh, but of course we need also uh, the cash flow so that we can operate our schools properly, no. But if uh, it will be a uh, 
total say allowing students to to take without any of these uh, uh, restrictions no uh, it will be difficult because students will have that mindset na oh they can just go in and uh, enroll and uh, not mind the the obligations no in the first place these students enroll in our schools no knowing that they have this obligation and they sign the contract they uh, when they enroll uh, they uh, execute a contract with us that they will be paying uh, installment you know uh, over a period of time you know? so there is that obligation also on the part of the students and the parents you no know? so if that uh, contract is voided you no know, then uh, students will just be free to just uh, uh, let those uh, obligations pass, uh, uh, not minding uh, the the risk of uh, them not being able to uh, complete uh, the the term or maybe even uh, the course that they enrolled in. So we we have been very lenient. Uh, uh, over the years, but uh, what we don't uh, like about the uh, the proposal or the bill is that it takes away our academic freedom, our ability to ma to manage our schools and uh, manage our relationships with our students. No, so uh, I think as private institutions, we also have that. Uh, uh, leeway or that uh, uh, access to be able to uh, manage and uh, uh, control also uh, our students. Sir, with the passage of Senate Bill 1359, so whether the students have paid their tuition fees or not, you are bound by law to give them, uh, to let them take their exams and let them finish their courses or their or their school. So with the with the passage of this law, so you representing the side of private schools, colleges, and universities, how can you assure that all your students will pay the tuition fees before their exam? Well, we are not assured actually. In fact. Uh... Over the years, we have uh, experienced a lot of bad debts from our students who, for some reason or another, they were not able to uh, live up to their commitments. Uh, even the promissory notes that they have signed, uh, a lot of these sometimes were not uh, 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 met. No? So uh, we just have to let go of those students. Um, some of them stop because of uh, their inability to to pursue uh, the financial obligations. Some of them transferred to the public uh, institutions so that they can continue uh, their courses there. No, but again, uh, that will uh, put in danger again the complementarity of public and private. Uh, institutions in making education accessible for as many students as possible. No? Uh, we have devised this installment plan particularly for that purpose, no? to allow more access to students. And if uh, the Senate will remove that, uh, that ability of us to provide those uh, installment plans, no? then in effect, they are uh limiting the access of edu of students to go to private education no and again that will overburden again the public system which at this point is already overcrowded no so we will again have a problem in terms of uh graduating quality students and providing uh sufficient uh, facilities for all of these students. Speaking of students uh, facing financial challenges, to in short, it's not their fault. Ano? Is it possible for private schools, uh, colleges and universities, private institutions 
to react in a way with the passage of this bill that they will try to accept students with more financial capacities and uh, reject those students without uh, so much of a financial capacity? Or would you still be open to accepting all sorts of students despite of their finances? Well, we are open to accepting uh, students, even those that may have some financial challenges, no? But we're not totally closing our doors on them because, you know, uh, parents will continue to strive to work hard and uh, uh, get their students to college or uh, any level, no? Students themselves are... Uh, working you no know, we have a lot of working students you no know? and if we allow uh, and we don't if we don't allow them to uh, continue on you no know, there, there are times that they will have financial difficulties we we realize that and we are um we empathize with them during these times and we allow them that's why we we allow them to execute promissory notes you no know? but then of course the school also have their limitations. No, we cannot just allow everybody to sign promissory notes, even if we know and uh, based on uh, our interviews with parents, we know that uh, they have also the capacity. Sometimes they're just trying to scrimp on their cash flow also, no, just to make sure. But if we uh, talk to them and uh, explain to them, then uh, they find ways, you know, to come up with uh, we uh, partial payments or uh, um, deferred payments, no. So uh, we're open to that, no. That's why what we want is just the for the government to allow us to continue with this uh, flexibility of schools, no, and not mandate that uh, we totally allow everybody, no. Because we can negotiate with students and with parents, and uh, we also give them leeways, no, so that they can meet their obligations, no, but not a total uh, shut out of the whole system. Sir, on a related issue, you know, speaking of uh, this issue of financial challenges for students amid rising costs of food and other commodities, and inflation is still an issue. Do you think the government should put more budget into Republic Act 10931 or the Free Higher Education Act? So this puts um this grants qualified students uh the power or the money or the financial assistance to go through colleges. Well, definitely, you no. Know, if the the government has the resources to uh put in more budget into the universal uh access for quality education no then we, we are open to that because uh part of that law uh allows students to go to private education through the tertiary uh education subsidy or the tes no the the problem now is uh just recently uh chairman de vera of the ched announced that uh, they don't have any more budget and they can no longer uh, entertain uh, new scholars uh, under the TES. They're just maintaining those that are already there. No? And uh, probably if they get additional budget uh, uh, in the next appropriations, then they can probably uh, uh, allow more scholars or fund more scholars. But at this point, their budget is very limited. No, the same with the uh, TESDA. No, they they are also part of that law, and uh, again the budget is very limited. No, so they cannot uh, accommodate uh, those who students who would uh, qualify for those scholarships. No? And again, uh, the SUCs and the LUCs no cannot also accommodate everybody because. As it is right now, they're already overheating. No, they 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 lack uh, classrooms, they lack facilities, they lack teachers. No, that's why we're we're trying to harp on that complementarity. No, so that we can together the public and the private. No, can help provide 
better and more education for more students. Sir, lastly, uh, this year, would you say that the private schools have fully adjusted to face-to-face -to -face classes? Are they 100% face-to-face classes na po ba post-pandemic? Well, uh, yes, we are uh, ready to go full face-to-face. -face, but again, the pandemic has taught us uh, some very good uh, lessons. No, And one of these is of course the 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 flexibility of doing online and blended learning no because there are advantages also uh in continuously conducting uh online sessions especially if we talk about uh, lectures or being able to access um uh, social media and uh online resources then students can use that no but uh, we don't uh we we accept the fact that uh, there is also uh, uh, value to having and maintaining the face to face uh, interaction with students that's why we're trying to see a good balance we're trying to find a good balance between having face to face and using online you no know? because uh, this will allow more students better access to quality education you no know? so let's not discount the fact that we can use technology to be more efficient in the delivery of education to our students. No? But uh, as at, at this time, uh, we are actually doing uh, full face-to-face -face already in our uh, colleges, in our branches. No? And I think most of our schools are already doing that. No? But uh, again, we're continuously studying how we can use the blended modality, the hybrid modality, so that we can uh, execute better and uh, reach out to more students. President of STI College Santa Rosa and Philippine Association of Private Schools, Colleges, and Universities, Dr. Tony Del Carmen, thank you so much for your insights.